welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be The Lone Ranger. Original air date is February 18th, 1944, and the title is Sugar Coated Sleep. Let's get into it, and I hope you enjoy. His faithful Indian companion, Toto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver... The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Hurry, big fellow. Oh, Silver. Pull away. When the pioneers settled on land granted them by the government, they found a valley that seemed like paradise. They cleared the trees and built their homes. There was plenty of game in the woods, fish in the streams, and an abundance of spring water. Water. They found the land fine for grazing and fertile for planting. Life looked good. The only concern was an occasional Indian prowler who came to steal. Most of these were little more than an inconvenience. But finally, the settlers decided to send for troops to stop the annoyance. Then, two days later, there was a swift, silent attack in the night. The next day, where the settlement had been... A ghost town existed. Several days later, the little stranger and Tonto rode into the empty community. Oh, Silver. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, fella. Oh, oh, fella. No one in sight, Tonto. Steady. Look around here. Uh huh. No smoke from chimney. No sound from house. No one in town. Everyone leave. Look at this room. All the bedding is gone. Food all gone from shelf. There's been a struggle here, but no sign of serious injury. We look at the next house. Wait there, Silver. May not see wagon or horse round village. I wonder if these people abandoned the town. If that's what happened, people go in plenty big hurry. Wait. Yes, Tonto? Plenty footprint here. Footprint made when ground soft. Indian footprint. Indians? Ah, but there's no sign of a fight. Oh, it's plenty strange. Here we look in this house. The Lone 
Ranger and Tonto examined five of the houses, and in each one found signs of a hurried departure. Bedding and food had been taken. There were indications of a struggle, but nothing to show that anyone had been killed or even wounded. Then they entered the sixth house. Doesn't seem to have been a struggle here, Tonto. The place is as neat as a pin. That's right. But all food and bedding gone. Oh, wait. There's a message on the table. Maybe it'll explain. Huh. Written partly in Sioux sign language and partly in poor English. I think we can make it out. You, you needn't bother. What? Don't move. I, I have you covered. Are you the only one in the village? Food. I, I want food. Well, you don't need a pistol to get food. You masked and an outlaw. Toto, this girl's nearly starved. Bring in a canteen in the saddlebags. Uh, me get them quick. I'll take that gun. Stand where you are. No, you might hurt someone. There. Oh, I wasn't loaded. They, they got all the ammunition. Well, sit down here. How long since you've eaten? I, I don't know. Days. Maybe weeks. Oh, where's Montgomery? You know him? Yes, I met him when he was leading the wagon train across the country. He told me he was going to settle here. He's my father. He is? I, uh, I'm Ann Montgomery. He, uh, you must be the man he spoke of. Did he say he'd talk to a masked man? Yes, a, a man known as the Lone Ranger. He told me he had a daughter. Tell me, you, you came from the east? Yes. Did you see Paul Woodson? Paul Woodson? I don't know him. He went for the troopers. That, that's why the Indians attacked us. Indians left this message on the table. This was Paul Woodson's house. We were to be married and live here. I was putting up curtains after Paul rode away for the troopers. And I wanted to surprise him when he returned. I heard the Indians and, and I hid in the cellar. This is the only house with a cellar. That's why they didn't find me. There was no one here to capture, so there was no struggle. No. Here. Yeah. Here, food and water. Oh, thank you. He soon make hot broth. That be plenty good. It not take long. I, I don't remember when I had food. How long ago did the Indians come? Well, what day is this? Day of the month, I mean. I, I've lost track of time. This is the tenth. It was on the first that Paul left. Two days later, the Indians came. They left nothing to eat, just a few scraps. I've seen no sign of gunfire. They surrounded every house, slipped in quietly, and grabbed everyone in his sleep. Do you know where they went? West. That's all I know. Well, uh, according to this note, Anne, the Indians are holding everyone as hostage. They want this valley for their own. Yes, they, they resented the fact that the government gave it to us. For some time, they sent prowlers and sneak thieves to try and frighten us away. Finally, my father and Paul decided to let the Indians know once and for all that, that we were here to stay. Paul rode east to have the troopers come. They'd know how to deal with the Indians. It was after Paul left that they made the attack. They promised to free the prisoners if the valley is given to the Sioux Nation. Yes. Those terms cannot be met. I, I know. Father would feel the same. The Indians... All the prisoners will be put to death if, if they haven't already. Oh, I'm sure your friends are still alive. The Indians want as little as they go after the Sioux. One of two things will happen. The hostages will be killed at the first sign of the attack, or they'll be rescued. They must be rescued. That end won't help. Well, why not? The Indians will withdraw for a time. They'll gather their forces and attack a second time. Then it won't be a silent attack nor a bloodless one. You know your Red's I'll show you. Paul! Oh. Fix him up another gun in another hand. Steady. Paul, wait. Listen to me. These are friends. Man. The masked man. The Indian. Friends, Paul. Get away from me. You shoot too quick. Me take other guns. Sorry, Woodson. I'm afraid one of your guns is ruined. Your hand wasn't hit, though. It'll stop hurting in a little while. Lightning. That's what lightning. I didn't want you to shoot Tonto. So this is the man who talked with Father one night on the trail. You remember? Dad spoke of the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? And maybe you can tell me what happened here. Did you bring troopers? No, they've been transferred. They're moving south. I couldn't hope to overtake them. Anne, are you all right? Uh, yes, dear. Where is everyone? I saw the two horses, both strange ones. I saw the Indian. I came you in. came in shooting. Here. Here, food now. Woodson, while you and Anne eat, we'll tell you the situation. There are 
are wigwams in a valley west of the settlement beyond a range of hills. The captives were held in these by guards. Montgomery and a man named Hank were in one teepee. You know the West, Hank. And Indians and their way of doing things at Gratham. They're foxy critters. Well, we should have dealt rough with the first one we caught in the village instead of... Oh. We got company. What do you want, Redbird? Oh. How your own self? Me talk. Well, sit yourself down and talk. Maybe you'll tell us what's up your sleeve. You ain't keeping us alive for our company. Me leave message. Me want meeting with soldier. What soldier? You send rider for soldier. Doggone, Jim. How do you know about that? Me leave message. Rider and soldier come back settlement. See note. Come for powwow. Make terms. So that's it. You've kept us here as hostages, huh? What that? Hostage. You'll let us go if the soldiers will make terms with you and your people. Right, right. Well, what do you want? Indian want valley. Want settlement. At Goodland, plant corn. Indian live there. The government gave your people a piece of land here. Oh, uh, not like land here. One valley. And you let us go if you can get it. Is that the story? Soldier make terms, you go free. What about the rest of our people? All safe in wigwam, like you. It's something to know that much. Yeah, someone riding up. We talk more by by. Uh, what more is there to talk Wait. about? We talk more by by. Me here, scout come. Redbird. <laughs> Who may talk to... Hank, you understand Indian talk? A little. Can you make out what they're saying? They do money. They talk, Rayma. The scout says he's got bad news. Bad? Okay, Mupa. Woodson's back. Uh, he come along. He saw him ride into the village without troopers. Oh, that's bad. Jim, that's bad. As long as the soldiers didn't show up, they can make a deal, so they're going to kill us. Wipe us out. Then they'll take the village. Is that what he just said? That's what the chief told the scout. Oh. Hey, what's the news, Redbird? What's your friend have to say? Me look rope. Make sure you plenty good time. What are your plans? You see. Plenty soon, you see. Uh, what's that? The night when moon rise, moon big. Round. Montgomery, the critter outside told him to gather wood for plenty big fires. Redbird, you harm us. Friends come, wipe out all Sioux people. Friend not come. Scout see. Friend not come. Soon dance a sacrifice to moon god start. Now, me go. Come back, maybe, by and by. Montgomery, we're as good as cooked. We're gone, geese. What did he say about a full moon? That's when they'll burn us at the stake. What time does the moon rise? I don't know for sure. But what's the difference? Somewhere near midnight. We can't just sit here and wait for death. We've got to do something. Sure, let's just up and tell them we don't like the treatment. We're leaving. Have you tried to loosen your wrists? They're doggone near cut off from trying. Montgomery, they've got us lashed with rawhide that's been stretched. They won't give no more than a miser in the bank of business. Those confounded drums. Have we got to listen to them? Yeah. And they don't get no better. Pretty soon you'll be wishing they'd heard the execution along so you wouldn't have to listen no more. Tonto had ridden west to the top of the hills. He looked down on the wigwams. He observed the number of men on guard, the number of horses. He saw the start of the war dance. That then he leaped to the back of his paint horse. Get him up, scout! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. Riding at top speed, Tonto returned to the settlement. He ran up the steps and... What did you see, Tonto? Me see where prisoners held. Far from here? Valley, just over range of hills. All captured horse there. All wagon. At least they haven't destroyed our property. But plenty of trouble come. Indian, maybe no soldier, not here. What do you mean, Tonto? Me see men start to gather wood. Make plenty big pile. Make plenty big fire tonight. Oh. Then start drum, start dance. A, a war dance? Start dance to moon. Tonight, offer sacrifice to moon. Tonight, pioneer, die. How many guns have you two got? Hold on, Paul. Three of us couldn't fight them. We can try. We'd accomplish nothing by attacking them. How many were there, Tonto? Maybe 50 Indian. 50? We might have a chance if we were well fortified. But there are plenty other Indian. Maybe two, three hundred more over next range of hills. Big village beyond camp. Look here, mister. This is our affair. Oh, we appreciate your desire to help us, but there isn't a thing you can do. Paul and I will go to the Indians. We'll join our friends and die with them. Oh, I'd sooner do that than stay here and wait for the Indians to come and get us. This is the affair of everyone who wants to see the West made safe for builders. Todd and I are in with you, Anne. We're in it to the finish. If only we could get men enough to make an attack. It would do no good, Paul. Even if we brought the people back here safely, it would only postpone the end. The Indians would come again. Oh, I suppose so. They won't accept the government order that gave us this land. They never will accept it. We must find a way to make them. I you think... Must what is it, Tonto? Me speak outside. You come. Excuse me, please. What is it, Kimosabe? Me remember time in Texas. Indian plenty bad there. Yes. Many time Indian come to village, carry off girl as hostage, get plenty wampum for girl. What about it? Then old woman have ID. Old woman give each girl pocket full of sugar. Indian like sugar. Yes. Girl captured, Indian eat sugar. Get poison, poison in sugar. Indian die, girl come home. We don't want to poison the Indians. It would make their friends all the more determined to wipe out the settlement and every other settlement. Not right. But we got no poison here. Then what are we going to... Me got Indian medicine. It white powder. We use it for sick horse. Man eat it. Make him sleep. Toto, I know what you mean. Have you some of the white powder with you? Me got it. Good. Come inside. You look as if you had thought of something. All we have thought of something. Fortunately, we have a lot of sugar in our saddlebags. We use it for trade with the Indians. Sugar? And you're going to do one of the bravest things a girl has ever done. What is that? Are you willing to go to that Indian camp? Oh, yes. I'd rather die with father and my friends than live without them. Now, hold on. They'll not suspect a girl. If Tonto and I went, they would look for a trick. Besides, we have other work. More dangerous than my assignment, I, I'm sure of that. Well, but what are your plans? The Indians started this game of hostage. We'll play it. We'll play the game their way. But if Anne has to go to that camp... She'll not go alone. You'll go with her. With feverish haste, Toto mixed a strange white powder with a supply of sugar. This, then, was packed in the saddlebag together with a few treasures that Anne still retained. Effects to make the saddlebag look natural. Paul, can you and Ann ride on the one horse? Oh, of course. Not up, then. Are you ready, Toto? Uh, you ready? Uh, come on, Ann. Which way are you going? In case they have another scout watching us, we'll head south, as if we're leaving you. You two will ride directly west. Go right into the camp. You'll be captured. All right. Well, that's what I suggested in the first place. That's why it will seem quite logical to the Indians. Adios. Adios. Goodbye, and, and if you can't help us, remember that we're more than grateful for your efforts. Steady, big fellow. Come on, Tonto. Get him up. Scout. Get up there. Come on, Silver. Drums, those tarnation drums. I think you were right. Why don't they kill us now? Be less painful than hearing that thing. It's enough to drive a man crazy. Loco, stark, staring crazy. You gotta take it easy, Montgomery. Try and think of something else. Oh, I have tried. Thinking of Anne. Wonder which of the wigwams they've got her in. And Paul, what'll happen to him? He. Now what? They stopped. I wonder why. I'm going to try and get to the flap of this wigwam and look out. I'm with you. The redskins are all looking toward the east. They see something. Hey, let me... 
I think it's Anne. And Paul. Oh, why did they come here? Why didn't they stay away when they had the chance? It ain't no use trying to figure it out. They're here now. Redskins are going through the saddlebag. Hey, what's that? The scout has found something in the saddlebag. That thieving coyote. Uh, whatever it is, he's, he's offering it to the chief. Yeah. Redbird's helping himself. He's eating it. Now they're passing it around. The critters are more interested in what they found than they are in Paul and Anne. And Paul is whispering to Anne. They're eating the sugar all right, Anne. I wonder how long it'll take for the stuff the Lone Ranger mixed with it to put them to sleep. I don't know, Paul. I can't take my eyes off those stakes with the wood piled in front of them. They'll burn oh, they're not fast, dear. Horrible death. Say, look. Redbird's sitting down. Oh, Paul. Well, he ate more than the others. Maybe they didn't have enough of the, the white powder. Another one of the Indians is yawning. Look at him. And there's another. Uma. 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 Hank. What's he say? He told the others to stand guard while he rested. Rested? By thunder, Hank, look at him. Why, they're all fixing to sleep. I, I see three of them on the ground. Four. By thunder, there's another. They're all falling down. That one over there just dropped. Jim, Paul and Ann got some kind of drug into them. Someone's back of this wake was. There, oh, an Indian. Hey, friend. Me cut lash him. A friend? What's going on? Who are you? Oh, steady. Me cut rope. Other fellow release other prisoner. Oh, Pa. Oh, Dad. Oh, eh. It's going to be all right. The Lone Ranger is here. The Lone Ranger. And the Indians are drunk. There. No, you're free. That does it. My hands are free. And mine. Come on, we get the others loose. Did you find your father, Ann? Oh, hello, Montgomery. Oh, Paul, are we going to make yes, it? Yes, you bet we are. In five minutes, every one of you will be free. Now you come this way. Oh, there he is. Come on. There's the Lone Ranger. Oh, if ever there's anything we can do for you. Montgomery, we'll... get every horse hitched to the wagons. We've got to take these Indians to the settlement. Jim, we're free. Hi, Pete. There's Jerry. Jerry, Jerry, are you all right? Oh, where's Adrian? Oh, he's coming. We're all free, Jim, every one of us. We're going home. Wait a minute. Hitch the horses and put the Indians in the wagons. They're going to the settlement. They'll be the hostages this time. Oh, where's their leader? His axe the leader, Redbird. Take charge of him, Tonto. Ah. He's the one we want to talk to. All of you, hitch up those horses. The next few minutes were lively ones. Horses were hitched. The stolen goods were taken from the wigwams and thrown into the wagons. Then the sleeping Indians were tossed in, tied, and men posted to guard them. When the last Indian had been loaded, the Lone Ranger shouted, Now on your way, go back to your homes and watch the prisoners. I'm going the other way. The Lone Ranger headed west, guiding the great horse Silver over the second range of hills to the village where the Sioux made their main camp. At his approach, men too old to hunt, boys and women, leaped to their feet. There were sharp cries of surprise. Many grabbed spears, tomahawks, or knives. Hold, oh, Silver, hold, oh, boy. Easy. Put down your weapons. I came to talk. Call old Moon Bear, your leader, the old chief who gives Redbird his orders. Where is old Moon Bear? Who calls? I do. Man with face concealed? Who are you? Moon Bear, all of your best hunters, your best fighters came to the settlement. Why you come here? Your braves wanted to capture hostages. They wanted to talk terms of peace. You come to talk? Yes. You refuse to obey the laws that say the Indians shall not live in valley to the east. Me not sign agreement. The government makes the laws, Moon Bear. Ah. Uh, Indian want peace. Settler leave valley. Promise never come back. We let them go free. Not hurt them. You make agreement? An agreement will be made in the valley to the east tomorrow. Agreement made in camp of Redbird? There's no one in Redbird's camp. Redbird and all your braves are prisoners of the settlers. That's not true. You can easily find out, Moon Bear. Come to the settlement, and there will be a pipe of peace. Come on, Silver! The following
following morning in Jim Montgomery's home. Ann? Ann, are you awake? I was awake and dressed, Dad. Oh, what... it's after nine in the morning. Oh, mercy, I slept so long. Has anything happened? Look out that window. Wait, Indians? Who are they? <laughs> the rest of the Sioux. Old Moon Bear's here in town. He's the one that gives Redbird his orders. More trouble? Trouble nothing. It's a peace conference. Jim, Han, where's Redbird? The old leader has seen the other prisoners. Now he wants to be sure Redbird lives. Uh, in the room over there. I'll get him. The Lone Ranger wants Moonbird to see him. He's been showing the rest of the hostages. Come on, Redbird. We're going outside. Uh, you come too, Jim. Yeah, I reckon you slept better than you let us sleep, Redbird. Uh, sleep too good. Sleep too fast. There, Moon Bear, is your son, Redbird. You spoke truth. You hold hostage. There's the treaty. It's between the people of this settlement and your people. You agree to remain each in your own territory. When treaty signed, prisoner released? Of course. Man with face concealed. You smart man. You attack Indian. Indian attack back. You kill. Indian repay with death. Moon Bear, it was you who taught us. You took hostages so you'd be in a position to make terms. We took hostages so we could make terms. Uh, Red Bird not smart. Him sleepy. That big trouble. Now bring pipe. Me smoke. Smoke the pipe of peace with him, Montgomery. They'll keep their word. They'll stay with us. We need a man to be our leader. You're the leader, Jim. Your friends couldn't find a better one. You smoke? Smoke, Moon Bear? <laughs> you bet I'll smoke a pipe apiece. <laughs> Give me that pipe. story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Join in the conversation by going to otrwesterns.com slash Discord. And don't forget to send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. This episode is copyright under the attribution, not commercial, share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and again, thanks for listening. <laughs>